Hi, this is Mrs. Scott, and I have a tutorial here for you on how to create a presentation using Screencastify. I'm going to begin in my Google Slides presentation, and from here I'm going to look at the top to my extensions and find Screencastify, Screen Video Recorder. I'm going to click on that extension, and that will load a menu. Uh, from here, you need to decide what it is you are going to record, and I would suggest recording your desktop. You'll need to uh, allow it access to your microphone and your webcam. And once you allow those things, and you'll need to go through the process of enabling them and making sure they work, then you will hit record. From here, you'll have the option to choose your entire screen. So click that, and then go ahead and share. You'll hear a countdown, and then your screen is now being shared with Screencastify. Click where it says Present. That will load the full screen. And now what you'll do is you'll talk through your recording. Explain the beginning of the topic, and whatever other slides you'll need to walk through. So I would just be clicking through my presentation here. Make sure you have a work cited. And of course, you'll want to have your fair use statement as well. And then you'll stop sharing your screen. Once you stop sharing your screen, it will load into, into Screencastify. So now what it's doing is it's running through my presentation, and I can stop that at any time. I'm just going to stop it by clicking this icon here. So that will stop it. I would recommend listening to it to make sure you're happy with the results. If you're happy with the results, just go into the title here, click here, and I suggest naming the assignment. Um, you could name it your topic. Okay, you could also uh, name it your, your name. And maybe your class period. But you'll be sharing this to classroom, so that may not be this necessary. It depends on how you're sharing it with your teacher. Sharing it with your teacher would be done either by sharing to classroom or you might want to get a shareable link. If you get click on the shareable link, now you have a copied link and then you'll go into Google Classroom, find the assignment, and share that link. You may also be able to share directly to Classroom. Uh, if you do that, I'll show you what my screen looks like. You'll go into Classroom, and then you choose a class. Okay, so you can see I have a lot that I have been teaching, but down at the bottom it says Enrolled. So if, there's, if your courses show up here in the Enrolled column, you may be able to share it directly to that link there. And that's how you will present your final project to your teacher in Screencastify and then copy that link and share that in Google Classroom. And remember, if you have any questions, please reach out to the librarians, the DGN library at csd99.org.